speech Tyler. A-C-S. A-C-S. Phil Barth. My son walks in the room and says, Dad, I got a detention for doing what the teacher said. Joe Barth, don't even get out of your seat. Well, the chairs have wheels. So when she turned around, I wheeled the chair out into the hall into the bathroom. <laughs> but then when I came back in, she caught me and gave me a detention. I say, Joe, you got just one question. He says, I know what you're going to ask. I hid the chair in the stall while I was in there. <laughs> no! The question is, why on earth did you think you could... Dad? YOLO. So look, I get YOLO. He says, YOLO, Dad, it's my philosophy. You only live once. <laughs> I said, Joe, <coughs> if you do a stunt like that again, it's going to be you only live. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and distinguished guests, the YOLO incident is a prime example of what I like to call ACS. It's a problem that can affect us all, ACS, also known as acronym confusion syndrome. <laughs> to see ACS in effect, consider the following. A lawyer, a salesman, and an IT guy walk into a conference room. I know, sounds like a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> What's worse is I just shot the credibility, because you're thinking, I'm going to listen to an acronym warning from the IT guy. And IT is known for our acronyms. Who in here remembers Flip Wilson? Yeah, me either. I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> but I read on Wikipedia that Flip Wilson had a variety show. And in his variety show, he would dress up as a character named Geraldine Jones. He put on a fancy dress, and he'd look at his co star and say, what you see is what you get. Because it's a dude in a dress. <laughs> what you see, not what you get. <laughs> Mind you, look really good in that dress. I can't look that good in the dress. <coughs> Sorry, TMI. But if Flip Wilson, I can turn him into an acronym. So I understand if you're a little skeptical about the IT guy warning you. But look at it this way if Billy Ray, A.K. Bricky Cyrus, walked in here, the father of Miley the Kirker Cyrus. And he said, we have a problem with bad parenting. Well, he ought to know. <laughs> so when the IT guy says, we have an acronym problem, I ought to know. <laughs> he says, I look at the lawyer, I look at the sales, and I say, we need to do a POC. The lawyer goes, proof of claim? The salesman goes, price over competition? I say, no, proof of concept. <laughs> well, we argue back and forth. Who's right? So we decided to settle it like Joe. Or Google. <laughs> <laughs> Type in, acronym, POC, top one wins. I hit enter, and the winner was people of color. <laughs> Just goes to show you, when the, bat, when the corporate bat, departments battle, the winner is always HR. <laughs> 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 Acronym confusion syndrome is very real. It has two problems with it. Number one, you may not know the acronym I'm using. Or number two, you may know of another meaning. For example, if I tell you I attended BGSU, you may or may not know I'm talking about Bowling Green State University. And if I tell you while I was at that university, I earned my BS. <laughs> no, I'm back Sometimes I say, oh, I see, which means, oh, I see. 
<laughs> what makes it worse is these acronyms are becoming a part of their daily speech. I ask my son a question, he looks at me and goes, I'm DK. How does that make sense? I'm DK. I don't know. What are you saying? Where's the savings? <laughs> They're coming up with all new words as part of acronyms. YOLO is one example. Here's another one. Raffle. Rolling on the floor laughing. And, and please don't today, Kroger's insurance does not cover that. <laughs> Rolling on the floor laughing. Those new words are being replaced, are replacing existing words. <coughs> the verb, R, gone, replaced by the letter R. The pronoun you, gone, replaced by the letter U. I get a text from my son that says, how are you? Why? <laughs> <clears throat> you see a problem? <laughs> if we're not careful, the very way we talk in Toastmasters is going to be dramatically different. <laughs> Consider the traditional greeting, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and distinguished guests. Replaced by MGM, FTM, Edgar. <laughs> That would make for an environment where even a distinguished Toastmaster could finish a speech on time. <laughs> and at what cost? Because when I speak in acronyms, what I say is not what you get. It's like Flip Wilson and press. No, we must act now to keep Toastmasters acronym free, and it must be all of us, whether you're working on your first CC or you've made it all the way to DTM. <laughs> Whether you're an HCG or an ALS or a VP of Ed coming back from TLI. <laughs> OMG! I'm warning you guys about acronyms and you're thinking from BTDT, GTTS. <laughs> Been there, done that. Got the t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to me I have one or two choices here. I could call the AAAAA, -A 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 -A, American Association Against Acronym Abuse, or Simply say, okay. And when I think about it, you're all my BFFs. <laughs> and that's returning to my IG roots. So I think I'll just embrace the acronyms because after all, as I once heard, <laughs> YOLO. <laughs>